So here he is, the number one featherweight contender, making his walk to the octagon for this UFC featherweight championship opportunity. It's been a long time coming. No denying he is worthy of this chance, and he believes he's the best featherweight in the world. His opportunity to prove it is now just a few short moments away. Well, how about the pop as the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC featherweight champion works his way to the octagon here tonight. Yet another title defense is what's in front of him. He is healthy, he is ready to prove that all the featherweights below him are just that, below him for a reason. He believes he is the champion for a reason. He believes he should be mentioned with the all-time greats. And that is what is at stake for him here tonight. Another title defense, another chance to prove that he is one of the greatest 145-pound fighters this octagon has ever hosted. Our tale of the tape for this featherweight championship fight. So these fighters are just a year apart, and they both possess a similar height and reach. All right, now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Levine. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 21 wins, 13 losses, and one no contest. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Miami, Florida, presenting the challenger, Alex Bruce Leroy. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 14 wins, three losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Tbilisi, Georgia, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world. Chica! Chica! Thank you, Seth, at all time. We'll be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your car. Chip on the line. Big knee there to the chest. Nice shot there from Caceres. Right on the button. Over and over, he is landing punches to the head. Just misses with the straight left hand. Oh, slips and rips. Superman punch now. Time the shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Oh, nice punch there by Caceres. Just misses with a left hook there.
Ah, oh, that jab hurt him. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Great punch. Caceres' lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, nice combination there by Caceres. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, Superman punch! You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Punch over the top. Oh, single collar tie here. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Beautiful kick. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. 20 seconds to go in round one. When you're in the clinch, you go to the body. That's an investment. You keep on putting that money away with every single body shot. Head kick, that's a miss. What a round it was, and how about that flying Superman punch at the end of the round? Not a lot of fighters will try it. He did, he executed. And it worked, right? No discouragement from his opponent to make him not try it. Why not try it? It's working, so why not try it again? If his opponent isn't careful, he will get knocked out and be on a highlight reel for the rest of time. And there's a kick to the body, not having that one blocked by Caceres. Man! Big ball from Punch Lance. Now we get back to range. Head kick. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Whiffs on that offering. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. So a much different approach for him here in this second. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, straight right. How about that chin? They're going at it now. Big punch, man. Oh, he's got him hurt here. Oh, oh! Jack hurt him a little bit. Caceres' lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. We need the takedown now. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Back to the feet. Ten seconds remain in round two. Oh, 
his opponent squirming like a fish out of water. Now the ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. <laughs> Went back to the well with that hook to the body. Instead, it's blocked by Caceres. Well, missed on that one. Movement to slip the left hand. Well, oh, he can look like it did stun him a little bit. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Look like he. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very oh. bad. strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Straight right, he misses. Caceres gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Gotta find a way to move those feet. Strong straight left there. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. You gotta be careful, Armbar. Oh! oh, Johnny picked him up and he slammed him, and he ends up in side control. Now he's in no danger of a submission. How about that? He's like, you go here, <laughs> my arm's free, and now he's got plenty of room to operate here out of side control. Nicely Great done. Job. Final seconds of round three. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship round. I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now. 15 minutes down, 10 to go. You tell yourself you can do anything in 10 minutes. Oh, that's a nice strike. Get him. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that. 
that finish down now. Oh, and that one snapped the head back. The referee has seen enough. Merciful. Back to KO. He mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like he got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. All right, the decision is inside the octagon. We send it to the veteran voice. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Ian Levine's called to stop for this contest at 1 minute, 12 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout.